So the first thing we need to do is set up the Arduino so that it's communicating over serial to control the LED. If you, are, if you already have a sketch that does serial control of an LED, I know that's kind of a classic sketch for people to do. Well, you can kind of skip this. You, that, that will work as long as you use the same baud rate and the same uh, the same, like the same, uh, splitter between commands, the same, the same parsing so that you know what you're sending, then that's going to work. But if you haven't, I'm going to go through that real quick, make a real quick sketch to do that. And then we'll get to QT. So the first thing we need to do is, uh, make our, our, not our loops, our functions. So we've got the setup function and the loop function and then we're going to define some pins we'll make it red LED and put it on pin 9 and green and blue LED on pin 10 and 11 uh, they need to be PWM pins just make sure the PWM because we're going to be doing analog write to write the value for brightness to the LED so I think there's six of those on the Arduino on the Uno anyways just choose any of them and don't put semicolons after define statements that'll give you an error Okay, setup. We'll do pin mode, pin mode, and let's do red LED output, and then go copy that and get all the pins set up. Uh, I'm also going to write a value to each pin initially just to turn them off initially. And notice that it's 255 usually that would be high but since we're syncing current uh, the range is reversed so zero is going to be high you're taking all current and 255 is low you're not taking any current so 255 is off when you're seeking when you're syncing current uh, we'll start the serial port you can put it on whatever baud rate you want to. I'm going to put it on 9600 just because that's everyone's favorite baud rate. And now what are we in the loop? We're just going to continually check to see if there's anything on the serial line. And if there is, then we're going to parse it. So if serial.available, then we need to grab the character so car car char LED specifier gets serial dot read and int LED brightness gets serial dot parse int and then I need to make another function. I'm going to call it write LEDs. And we're going to pass it the LED specifier and the brightness. OK, so that looks good. So this is just going to be void. I'm not returning anything just writing to the LEDs. So it's taking character, 
that's I'm gonna call it LED and it's taking an integer that I'm gonna call brightness just to keep them different so then I'm gonna do if statements just choose which LED based on what I'm passing it okay so if LED matches R make sure there's a single quotes if you put double quotes you can get an error this is a character not a string so single quotes if LED is R then we're gonna do analog right to red LED with 255 minus brightness and then we're gonna return and I have to copy all that and do the same thing for green and blue so there's green there's blue and again on the brightness we're syncing current so it's 255 minus brightness and then I'm gonna return also after that save that let's verify it oh, what did I do blue 255 oh there it is blue LED Let's upload that. And now let's test it with the Sarah monitor. So I'm going to send it. I'm just going to test each LED to make sure it's working. So there's that should turn. Yep, that's R. That's red. Goes all the way on. Let's turn it off. And then we'll do G255. Turn it off and blue 255. And we'll turn that off. And just to play with it, let's turn them all on. So that's with all of them on. And we can get it red again if we go blue, zero, green, zero. So that's red. So looks like everything's working. Uh, I know I, I know there's no error checking in there. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Just simple sketch, and most of this is just to show off serial in QT.